Last night, the fourth annual Igbo conference took place in London, organised by the Centre of African Studies with the intention to challenge perceptions of Igbo culture. Up for discussion were education, politics, family and the perception of African women. And joining me is a speaker from the event, which was celebrated uh, celebrated writer Nedi Okorafor, author of the African-based science fiction title Who Fears Death and Akatar Witch. Welcome to the programme, Nedi. First of all, just explain who the community or the group um, Ebol are. Uh, the Igbos are a um, one of the largest groups in Nigeria, one of the largest ethnic groups in Nigeria. And so the, for the International Igbo Conference, it's basically Igbos of the diaspora who came together for this conference. Now, what, what makes them so um, unique as a group? I mean, in terms of, I mean, the, the conference itself, I understand, was to celebrate womanhood, empowering mm -hmm. females. Mm -hmm. So um, how do women within the Igbo community, um, what is their role? How, how are they seen? Well, that's really what the whole conversation was about. What is the role of the Igbo woman? The Igbo woman, of course, it has a major role in amongst the Igbo people. Um, is there an actual definition of who the what role the Igbo women play in Igbo culture? That's that's really what we were discussing. And really, what I came up with was that that of course Igbo women are central to um, to Igbo culture, but that our roles really depend on the individual. Now, the, the second, you said second largest group of people in southern... Third, I'd say. Okay, third, okay. Third largest group of people in uh, southern Nigeria. I understand that polygamy still exists within Igbo culture, so a man is allowed many wives, providing he can support those wives. Oh, sure. Um, well, first of all, the Igbos are the third largest group in Nigeria, not just the, not just southern Nigeria, but in Nigeria as a whole. Um, polygamy is an issue, um, not so much these days. It's still, it's a traditional practice, um, and it's very complicated, but I wouldn't say, especially amongst the Igbos, polygamy is something that's, it's a practice that's really sort of died out over time, um, even though it is still practiced by some. Now, it was a two-day conference. Mm -hmm. What was involved within the, within the two days? What, what did you discuss and what did you hope to get out of it? Um, what was discussed, there are various aspects of Igbo culture and heritage. Language is a big part. I, I understand there were some Igbo language workshops that, that took place. Also, there were discussions about just Igbo culture. And then, you, and then the... And what is Igbo culture? Explain that. <laughs> That's a very big question. Um, what is British culture? It, it's big. It's it's big. Um, Igbo culture are the traditions, the practices, the things that are done traditionally by Can you Igbos. Give me an example. Ah, let's see. Um, so, what are, so give me an the, example of a, of a traditional a, a traditional tradition. practice is yeah. the breaking of the kola nut, right. which is a very bitter. Um, I guess it's a fruit that is broken at the beginning of, of any kind of Igbo meeting, uh, important meeting practice, etc. So it's broken, and then the the person who breaks it, there's a specific person. Who, it's usually the eldest man in the group, or and then it goes all the way down to once we get to the women, the eldest women. So there's a, there are traditional practices behind that. So the breaking of the colonel is one um, one thing about. And why is that done? What does that signify? Um, the colonel has a <laughs> has a deep cultural cultural meaning that's that's very complicated to discuss but um, so there's that it's it's one of the central central uh, oh it's all very complicated I mean they, they also believe that the world is governed by invisible and visible forces so living the dead those well, yet sure. to be born sure that's that's, that's that's a that's a traditional uh, African perspective world perspective that the mundane mixed with the, mis the mystical coexists. That's a tradition, that's, that's just a, yeah. And you're hoping that Igbo culture is integrated into more educational um, practices within the UK, so within universities to, to study? Oh, sure, sure. That's part of what the, what the conference is about, is to bring, for example, Igbo language courses, um, study uh, courses that study Igbo culture, Igbo um, heritage to the university and, and make them more popular, yes. Okay, Nedi, thank you very much for coming in. Thank you. You're watching